a normal healthy mouth is one that's really taken care of every day by the patient. You usually recommend the floss first to loosen up any food in between your teeth. And you can see that the gum tissue here uh, doesn't have any food there. And it's a uh, pinkish. Um, and there is a little frenum there that's uh, pulling on the gum tissue, but it hasn't caused any problems with recession. The patient flosses first, then brushes their teeth and gets all the plaque off as much as possible. Then they go back and check it with a rubber tip, which you'll see at the end of the video. But you can see here that when we put air on the teeth, the gum tissue didn't move, that the tissue is firm, and that there's no bright redness. The tissue doesn't bleed when we place air on it. And though the patients had fillings, the gum tissue is a nice, firm consistency. They also go to their dentist on a regular basis and get their teeth cleaned because there's just some places in the mouth that someone can't get to on their own. And the dental office, the hygienist, has tools that will go up underneath the gum tissue and keep it in this great condition. Now, even with a great gum health, it's not unusual to occasionally need a filling done. This patient hasn't had any actual work done in years, and you can see the little small cavity, that black spot, which will come back and do a tiny little filling. And that's one of the benefits of getting your teeth examined on a regular basis. So the gum tissue is pink, it's firm, it doesn't move on air. The patient flosses every day. And even though there might be a little bit of stain here and there, when they go into the, get to the dental office, they'll get every other spot. And when we look at the front teeth, you'll see that the tissue is nice and pink. Everything looks quite nicely. And the patient has done an excellent job. Now this is a rubber tip that goes in between the teeth and it uh, helps to keep the gum tissue firm. And as you can see, it's in the sulcus and it's very lightly going around the gum tissue uh, all the way around to see if there's any plaque left. And that's really important to floss first, then brush, and then check your work.